A good man obtains favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devise will be condemned. Proverbs 12, chapter, second verse. He blesses the righteous. If we desire to know God and the power of his might, then we must learn to trust and obey his commandment. Based on the word, we live in trusting and obeying isn't always easy because we live in a society that presents countless temptations to stray away from God's righteous pathway. God blesses the righteous, and this is why we must learn to turn from our wicked ways and serve the Lord with gladness. When we are confronted with temptations or sin, we should walk or run in the opposite direction. When we seek righteousness and the competition <clears throat> of other believers, we will reap the spiritual rewards that God has in store for those that are on one accord. Our commitment each and every day is to live a righteous life so that we may enter into the kingdom of heaven. All throughout the Bible, it is minds us, reminds us, I should say, of our great reward. If we live and do according to God's commandment, Psalms first chapter, first verse, reminds us that we are blessed if we walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, when we seek to follow in the footsteps of God's Son, we will experience God's presence, God's peace, and God's abundance. When we choose to grow spiritually, we can then be prepared to reap the blessings that God has promised to all those who live according to his will, his purpose, and his word. Prayer. Righteous God, I know that you are perfect in all your ways, and you have called to me to be your righteous servant. Lord God, I know there are things I struggle with, but I know you are the potter that will shape and mold me into what you want me to be. Lord, leap and guide me from the temptations of the world so I might live in a life pleasing unto you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.